Hey, Grade 7. Welcome to another edition of Mr. V Teaches Math. And in today's lesson, uh, or lessons, what we're going to be doing is looking at 8.3 and 8.4, solids, shells, and skeletons, and then planes of symmetry. Um, so for solids, shells, and skeletons, we just need to be able to distinguish between the three. Uh, and so the way that we do that, uh, as I show you some stuff, this is a solid piece of plasticine. It is shaped into a cube like shape. Um, it is solid all the way through. Uh, if I were to cut it in half, um, you would only see more plasticine. And so that this is what's called a solid. Now, a shell, and I'm going to go back to these things that I was talking about yesterday. These are shells. Uh, if I can pull this down, you can actually see inside here, it's hollow. There's nothing. It's just, it's just faces. Okay, so it's just faces of a shape, of a three-dimensional shape. Um, but there's nothing out on the inside, okay? Uh, now, if I get even more bare bones, uh, and what I can do is I can just alter the camera a little bit. Uh, this shape here, made out of straws and plasticine, uh, this is called a skeleton, okay? Uh, and so all it is is straws and, and plasticine just looks at the edges and the vertices of a shape. Um, it's not even standing up very well, but um, that's, that's basically the difference between a solid uh, shell and a skeleton. Okay, solids are, are obviously solid all the way through. Uh, shells are just hollow, but they have the faces, and then the skeletons just show uh, edges and vertices. Okay. Now, planes of symmetry um, are like lines of symmetry, except that you apply them to a three-dimensional shape. Um, so what we see here uh, is that a line of symmetry, if you look at this uh, isosceles triangle, this dotted line cuts this or divides this isosceles triangle into two congruent parts. So if you were, if I were to cut this out and then cut along this line of symmetry, I would have created two identical triangles. Okay, a plane of symmetry uh, divides a three-dimensional shape into two equal shapes. Okay, and so I've drawn out uh, a triangular prism, and I've actually drawn in the two. Um, the two planes, the plane is just like a flat surface, that, uh, that cut this shape into two. So you can see you can divide it along the, the orange triangle and that will cut that shape into two like that. Or you can cut it along the green line, the green plane, and then split it up into two um, triangles that way. And it's like if I go back to my uh, solid shell and I just take my ruler, which is gonna double as a knife, um, I know that I can make a cut all the way through here for one plane of symmetry. I know that I can make a cut here, and that would divide it up evenly. And then I know I can make a cut here. These are the, these are the three main uh, lines of symmetry. Now, you can have other ones as well. There are actually, I think, nine. Uh, there's one that goes diagonally this way, one that goes diagonally this way. Um, same with these two ways, and then these ways as well. So you could, uh, there's actually nine different ways that you could divide this, um, this cube in, in half. Um, but you just need to be able to recognize where on a shape, on a three-dimensional shape, you can apply that line of symmetry. And so what I thought I would do, just for a few minutes, uh, is to draw out, let's see, maybe we'll draw out a rectangular prism for a second and we'll see where the lines of symmetry, sorry, not lines, planes of symmetry are. So that's one, two, three, four, five, two, four, five. So we'll draw out a really sort of basic rectangular prism. Because what you do, is you have to, be able to recognize on just a regular drawing, rather than having an actual shape in front of you, you need to be able to recognize from a drawing uh, where the shapes go. So this is our rectangular prism. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in, with a dotted line, some of the back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just adding in 
the lines that exist, but that you don't see. I'll just get it in a different color and then we figure out. So here's our rectangular prism. Doesn't matter which way you look at it, this is our rectangular prism. Now, um, what we can say, oops, sorry guys, there's a line of symmetry sort of right here. So that's one way to divide the shape into half. I'll just show you, I'll show you the three main ways. We know about the diagonals. They're a little harder to show. Not impossible. So that's the second line of symmetry. You can cut it into half that way. And then the third one goes this way along the middle. This shape is going to look all multicolored in just a few minutes. So these are the, are the three sort of vertical or horizontal ways to divide a shape. Uh, and then again, you can do them diagonally this way. Right? You could do them diagonally this way, or you could do it diagonally this way, or that way. And so we've marked up this sheet, this shape, pretty well with all of the different ways that this thing can get split up. It becomes kind of a confusing mess, but Ultimately, there are nine planes of symmetry. Not every three-dimensional shape is going to have nine planes of symmetry. Um, when you start looking at, uh, say, a um, if you start looking at, say, a square-based pyramid, square-based pyramids do not have nine planes of symmetry. We can actually just practice a shape for a second. So we'll do the square based pyramid. It's definitely not to scale or to perspective. Pen's not working very well today. And then let's back line as well. So this is this is our square pyramid, uh, and we basically have actually it's a rectangular based pyramid. Um, what we have. is we have a line of symmetry right here. And that extends like that. So there's one way to cut it in half. And then the other way goes down here. Oops, I went too far with the one red line. And then cuts it in half. That way. So this actually only, uh, it seems to me, it only have two planes. Of symmetry. 
Although, there are the diagonal lines again with this going this way and then going that way. So maybe we'll change this to four planes of symmetry. Um, but not nine. So just be able to recognize those things. Um, and so that should help you when we work on 8.3 and 8.4. So have a great night, folks.